super crops have the potential to revolutionize agriculture in Africa, a leading expert has claimed. Hundreds of millions of pounds have been invested in new crops on the continent, which are more nutritious and better resistant to disease with an improved ability to withstand severe flooding or drought. From scuba, rice which can live even if submerged underwater for two weeks to iron-rich beans able to withstand a temperature change of 4 degrees and drought-resistant maize rich in vitamins and minerals, new crops are increasingly coming to the fore, and it is having a significant impact on food production in a challenging environment. Why Africa's baobab trees are under threat The new crops, traditionally grown, have the capability to alleviate what is known as hidden hunger, or micronutrient malnutrition, estimated to affect more than 2 billion people across the world. Dunit Yusuf, chairman of MBI Group, a consortium of Zambian companies, says, We know that Southern Africa has enormous potential for food production, which if harnessed correctly could guarantee food security in the region. Zambia alone has an arable land mass which is larger than the United Kingdom, highly fertile, and contains an abundance of water which makes for perfect agricultural conditions. The question is how to unlock this vast potential, while also combating the challenges posed by climate change. With Naria's investments limited, we entered the Zambian market to supply fertilizer in 2015, a time where these challenges were starkly evident. Men using the natural bogolan dyeing technique, which is an ancient craft tradition in the Niger River, particularly Mali. Phila Endomo, Bubakar Dumbia. Photography by Adrian Liu. Design Network Africa and Art Piece by South African-born artist Sothi Patra Ruga. Photography by Adam McConaughey, courtesy of Athi Patra Ruga in WHATIFTAGWORLD an image from Sea Stunners by Nairobi-based artist Cyrus Kabiru. The frames were made using scraps of disused technology. Photography by SMAC Gallery, South Africa Photography by Florina Rothenberger published in the magazine, I love to dress like I am coming from somewhere and I have a place to go. From the photographic series Proud Women of Africa, Rainbow Girls, which captures the lesbians of South African townships of Gugulathu and Kyalicha who have been disowned by their families. Photography by, Magic Group Media, Amsterdam, and El Babylon's Torin, where guests partake in curated dining experiences. Most of the food is planted and cultivated on the farm. Photography by Babylon's Torin work by the Nest Collective which spans film, music, fashion and visual arts. Photography by Phyllis Galambo Photography by Phyllis Galambo, who documented the clothing of people across Nigeria, Benin, and Burkina Faso. Architecture by Kunle Adami, and Ellie Photography by Riz Bana. In collaboration with Makoko Waterfront Community, Lock Katz Van Veen Architect and Dijkstra Naval Architects, Thu Besslink, Roel Bosch Architect and Arhan Vora, Peters Bau Technique, Eki. A collaboration between Amandine David and Marie Duell, inspired by Burkina Faso. Photography by Emile Barrett, or Pistes Photography by Actor Media Villa, whose photo series The Safe Society of Ambiansource and Elegant People captures the dandies of Congo. Phantasma, a super band, formed in 2014 by producer and rapper Spoke Math Ombo who recruited members from Acro South Africa. Photography by Phantasma Men using the natural bogolan dyeing technique, which is an ancient craft tradition in the Niger River, particularly Mali. Phila Endomo, Bubakar Dumbia. Photography by Adrian Liu. Design Network Africa and Art Piece by South African-born artist Sothi Patra Ruga. Photography by Adam McConaughey, courtesy of Athi Patra Ruga in WHATIFTAGWORLD an image from Sea Stunners by Nairobi-based artist Cyrus Kabiru. The frames were made using scraps of disused technology. Photography by SMAC Gallery, South Africa Photography by Florina Rothenberger published in the magazine, I love to dress like I am coming from somewhere and I have a place to go. From the photographic series Proud Women of Africa, Rainbow Girls, which captures the lesbians of South African townships of Gugulathu and Kyalicha who have been disowned by their families. 
photography by Magic Group Media, Amsterdam, and El Babylon's Torin, where guests partake in curated dining experiences. Most of the food is planted and cultivated on the farm. Photography by Babylon's Torin work by the Nest Collective which spans film, music, fashion and visual arts. Photography by Phyllis Galambo Photography by Phyllis Galambo, who documented the clothing of people across Nigeria, Benin, and Burkina Faso. Architecture by Kunle Adami, and Ellie Photography by Riz Bana. In collaboration with Makoko Waterfront Community, Lock Katz Van Veen Architect and Dijkstra Naval Architects, Thubeslink, Ro El Bosch Architect and Arhan Bora, Peters Bau Technique, Eki. A collaboration between Amandine David and Marie Duell, inspired by Burkina Faso. Photography by Emile Barrett, or Pistes Photography by Hector Media Villa, whose photo series The Safe Society of Ambiansors and Elegant People captures the dandies of Congo. Phantasma, a superband, formed in 2014 by producer and rapper Spoke Math Ombo who recruited members from Acro South Africa. Photography by Phantasma, Southern Africa was facing severe food shortages due to the El Nino weather phenomenon, with drought hindering food production throughout the region. It has long been argued innovation is the key to address the global food security challenge. While technological advances have provided significant results across Europe, far greater effort is required globally to meet the needs of the world's population. Nowhere is this more evident than Africa. Zambia, one of the continent's most fertile countries, produces a wide range of foods including maize, rice, millet, sorghum, and sweet potatoes. Despite this, according to the Zambian National Food and Nutrition Commission, 52% of child deaths are due to malnutrition with 40% of children under the age of 5 experiencing stunted growth. It was in part due to Naria's investment-efficient supply of fertilizer, that the country successfully yielded a food surplus and exported vital produce to neighboring countries, themselves facing a food shortage crisis caused by the devastating climatic conditions. Mr. Yusuf says, significant work is needed to develop the agricultural sector in southern Africa to ensure that it is productive, sustainable, and diverse enough to mitigate the risk posed by climate change. In the short term, we can be prepared for the challenges posed by drought, parasites or flooding. However, to revolutionize food production in the region, we require long-term solutions through the adoption of innovative and groundbreaking practices. One such example of this is a particularly valuable effort in Zambia that is being supported by the UK government's Department for International Development. The department has invested more than £100 million funding research to create super crops, which are more nutritious and better resistant to disease with an improved ability to withstand severe flooding or drought. The project shows how the problem of Zambia's low yielding agriculture can be mitigated by promoting new super crops. But according to Yusuf, Southern African countries also need to diversify and modernize to tap into their full potential. Super crops are just one piece of the puzzle. Good farm management, effective irrigation, crop insurance, and the use of crops suited to local climate and conditions are other, vitally important factors. The efficient production of tea, coffee, sugar, maize and several other cash crops is reliant on changing farming methods and moving away from rudimentary techniques towards a fully, mechanized approach. The incentives for African farmers to adopt these new crops are significant given their extensive benefits, as well as their market value given the overwhelming demand on the international market. However, awareness of how to grow and harness these crops is poor and requires significant investment on the side of African governments to train farmers, increase understanding, and support throughout the initial stages of crop development. The combined approach of revolutionizing farming methods through mechanization, the appropriate use of fertilizer and pesticides, and the deployment of high-yielding super crops means the future is bright for agriculture in Africa. next generation of farmers, harnessing the true potential of the land, will not only have the potential to deliver food security but a significant opportunity to prosper economically. SWNS